Okay, welcome to lesson three um, of this week of um, Matilda. Okay, so, so far um, we have now been introduced to um, Miss Honey as well, and um, as well as Mrs. Phelps that we um, talked about last week. So what are your impressions of Miss Honey? Do you think she likes Matilda? How do you know? Pause the video, have a little chat with um, an adult if you've got one. If not, just not note some ideas down and then come back and we'll have a little chat about it. Okay, so Miss Honey's mesmerised by Matilda, isn't she? She can't understand how amazing this child is and how um, much she can do for a very young age. And she's just in awe by her. She, um, and we know this because of the things that she says to her and says how amazing she is. and um, is really gobsmacked in a way, isn't she, that she can do a lot of things that other um, children of her age can't can't do. So we know that she likes her because she she likes her dedication and um, enthusiasm for learning. Okay, so what sort of things might Matilda tell Mrs. Phelps? So other than Mrs. Miss Honey. Um, the only other people that we know was obviously Matilda's got her parents and her brother who are not interested in her whatsoever. And um, she's obviously met Mrs. Phelps and other than their family, Mrs. Phelps was the only other person that she could maybe talk to. She's probably the only person that would listen to Matilda on what she would say. So I want us to think about what Mrs. Phelps, what Mrs. Phelps might tell um Sorry, what Matilda might tell Mrs. Phelps about um, Miss Honey if sort of like she'd gone to school that day, met Miss Honey, and then she wanted to tell someone, like you do in school sometimes, if something good happens, you go home and tell your parents. The next best thing for Matilda would have been Mrs. Phelps, maybe on one of her journeys to the library, or she might tell her in a letter. What kind of things might she want to tell um, Mrs. Phelps about? Okay, pause the video, have a little think, and then come back to me. Okay, so Matilda might want to tell her about her first day at school. She's been desperate to go out and tell, um, go to school and learn and find more things out in books and maybe be around children her own age that she could sort of have conversations with and play with. And Mrs. Phelps would want to know that Matilda's happy. She worries about Matilda, especially when she said that her mum didn't care what happened to her. So she probably was a bit anxious about Matilda. And that might be weighing a little bit heavy on her mind in terms of... Um, this child who'd come into the library and not really came with an adult so she might have been worried about her so to have some words of reassurance from Matilda would have made Mrs Phelps feel a little bit better okay so what we're going to do is we are going to plan a letter okay today um, a letter that Matilda would write to Mrs Phelps telling her all about what's happened so far okay so we need to think very carefully when we do our letter. We need to think about all the features of a letter. So can you have a little think using this template here to give you a couple of ideas, have a little think about the features of a letter and what you should remember when you are writing the letter, planning today and then writing going forward. Okay, pause the video, have a little think. Okay, so we always need to say who we're writing the letter to. So that always goes here, doesn't it? Okay, but before that, it's really important that in this bit here, we write our address. And the reason why that is very important is because on the front of an envelope goes the address that you are sending it to, but on here it goes your address so that the person who you are sending it to would have your address should they want to reply, okay? Then we've got here um, who we're writing it to and we must finish it with who, who it is from. We then would use each paragraph to talk about different things, okay? Each theme or each subject would have a different different box. So the first bit, you're going to write why you're writing, and then you would put a different point in each box. Paragraphs group together information that's of the same event, the same um, thing that you're going to talk about. So you might say, oh, I haven't spoken to you for in a long time, Mrs. Phelps, so I was just ringing to... Um, um, writing a letter to you to check in okay so we're going to have a little look today at the ideas of what we could include in our writing to help us go forward and, and making sure that we um, have a detailed plan okay so some of the um, ideas that I've put down here just to help you so paragraph one why we're writing writing to share good news I've got no one else to tell if you notice here I've written it in bullet points I'm not writing full sentences just quite clearly. And if you look when we move on to paragraph two in a minute, I've started a lot with I 
These are ideas. You will then take these ideas tomorrow and make them your own, add them together, join them together with the conjunction, start um, with a fronted adverbial, or start in a, in a, with a um, time conjunction such as then, and we'll look at so, those ideas for tomorrow. But just looking at this now, it's very, very limited in detail. Writing to share good news. Um, I have no one else to tell. My parents have agreed to me starting school and that's what I've done, okay? So then you might, this paragraph here is about, um, you know, going to school. I was very nervous the night before. I was excited on the day when I walked into school, met the head teacher, Mrs. Trunchbull. She was horrible and she is mean. My teacher is called Miss Honey and she is kind and listens to what we have to say. She said that I will learn lots in her class and she was impressed that I can read so well and know lots of information. Perfect. We've got enough detail in there to show the feeling of feeling the nervous night before. Then she was excited. She wanted to go, but obviously she was always going to be apprehensive of going. We know that. Met the head teacher. What do we think of um, think of her? She was horrible and she's mean. My teacher is called Miss Honey. She's kind, listens to what we have to say. And then I, obviously we finished that paragraph with saying that she said that um, I learned lots and she was very impressed by what I know. Paragraph three then, I've told all my friends about your job in the library and how good you have been to me sharing books and helping me choose. Can't wait to see you soon and tell you more about what has happened in school. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. You've helped me learn so much. So again, that's just finishing it off, isn't it? So we've got a paragraph saying why we're writing, paragraph two telling us, what happens in the, in the school. And then paragraph three, thanking her for being such a good friend and always being there for her. Um, and then obviously got a little bit in there about I told my friends. We don't know that that's true, but that's why we can take the ideas from Matilda, but you can definitely add some of your own ideas to get really get into that character of Matilda. And that shows your inference of knowing what character she is like. She did speak to Mrs. Phelps and up until the time when she went to school, she would have been the closest thing she had to a friend or a confidant, someone she could trust and talk to. Um, and she trusted her and met her a lot of times at the library and she obviously always seemed so kind and caring. So, um, you know, she will have wanted to sort of say that. And by saying I've told my friends implies that she thinks quite highly of her. Okay, so what you're going to do today is you're going to use the plan and frame um, that is attached to plan out your ideas. Take my ideas if you want, but please make them your own. And I know that you've probably got other things that you want to include as well. You could put a lot of detail on there about how she feels and um, how she, um, you know, we could use examples of show, don't tell in there as well so that we could use that in our writing tomorrow. Please don't worry. I know there's um, some of you that like to write your whole sentences in here. Don't worry about using those fronted adverbials or the, um, or the adjectives and amazing vocabulary that you're going to use just literally put the ideas down so that then tomorrow when you come to write that the ideas are all there and it's just about making it a little bit different okay so good luck with your planning and um, look back over the um, videos of reading the last chapter from yesterday if you want to to gather some more information and have a good go at this plan and i will see you tomorrow bye